Well, hello, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. This is another Vlogmas video. Um, so you guys, just in case you guys don't know, I've already pre-shuffled the deck. Um, and if you don't know that, that means you are a new person. And so if you are, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. So what I want to do right now is go ahead and cut the deck. And I'm going to see what messages I have for you today, Pisces see what messages we have for you all right okay so let's go ahead and get your first card out here Pisces let's see here we have the six of Pentacles this is very charitable energy here it talks about gifts money time and effort Ooh, I actually really like this because it also talks about new career opportunities things of that nature Pisces but I feel like this is more so someone is ready to give you something <laughs> okay this is very more a very uh, reciprocal energy um a what you deserve type of energy with the six of pentacles you know pisces i i i'm sensing that you guys and i said this before on your read and i know it was you that you guys give a lot you don't really have um an issue or a problem with giving and your water sign i see that a lot with a lot of water signs so you guys don't really have any issue with giving okay so when you do give, it's kind of like, just give me a little bit of something, especially if it's someone that you have a lot of emotions and feelings for, you just want them to give you something in return, okay? And I feel like maybe in the past, you may have been dealing with someone um, that, you know, you, you liked a lot, or even with someone that you may be with now, you just don't feel valued. And so the Six of Pentacles is like, here, have this, or finally, you deserve this. So I'm going to go ahead and get two cards here for you, Pisces, and we're going to see what's going on with you. So let me see. I'm going to peek a little bit. Make sure both cards are turned up right. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Here I have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So we're going to get to this in a bit, but let's go ahead and get to the Queen of Cups. Remember, I was just talking about how um, you guys are very giving. Well, because you love here, the queen of Pen I mean, the queen of cups. This is, this is you. You guys are very loving, very compassionate type of people, very self-sacrificing. Did I know that I was going to grab that? I didn't know. I can always feel your energy, Pisces. You guys have no issues with giving of yourself, but this is, this also says, don't forget about taking care of you. Cause sometimes we can get such in a, we can get, we can get into that little mode where, it's kind of like, okay, well, I, you know, I'm a good person. I'm spiritual and I, I believe in karma and things of that nature, but we still forget about ourselves because so sometimes karma could come back on us because we haven't given ourselves enough. Maybe we've given, um, given to other people a little bit too much and we weren't thinking about ourselves. And I feel like here, this is the reason why the Ace of Swords is here because this is talking about truth and clarity, also talking about communication. What is it that you need clarity in? Okay, what is it that you need truth in? Sorry, it's just the way that the camera is. is. I, I, sometimes I'm not even sure if you guys can see it or not. Can you see it? This is cutting away obstacles, overcoming obstacles, things of that nature, um, and having faith that everything will be okay. But this card is pretty, pretty self-evident that there will be some type of communication um, here, and it's going to bring some clarity in your life. And I feel like part of that is, you know, why did I have to give and you didn't give back? Why am I always the person that gives? Please tell me something. Let me know. All right. Maybe you haven't been talking to someone. That could be a huge possibility. Maybe you haven't. And here's going to be a chance for you to express yourself and get out, get off your chest what you've been wanting to get off your chest, Pisces. So we're going to move down the line here and we're going to get into these cards. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to get three here, okay? All right. Let's see what we got. Make sure they're turned upside down. These two are not turning. I don't do. I don't do reversals. I don't need to. So here, I was just talking about intuition and spirituality. You guys are about to experience a lot, but there is a part of me that feels like you guys are waiting for something here. Now, notice I put this here first. And the only reason why I say that is because I feel like you guys know that something is coming your way. 
whether it's money, a person, an apology, you guys are convinced that something is going to come. You guys are very confident. You guys um, are very, you know, you know, uh, uh, optimistic. And I love the fact that here that the universe agrees here with the will of fortune. So there are going to be a huge change in your life, whether it's someone coming in your life or whether it's a job, family, just be prepared for the change. And I love the fact that the three of wands there is like, I'm waiting for it. And I do believe that some of you guys are waiting on a particular person, someone that you love. Okay. Uh, but, you know, again, this is not a stagnant energy. The, the will of fortune isn't. And it's good things that are going to be coming towards you, Pisces. No matter what has happened in the past, we're talking about truth and clarity. We're talking about reciprocity and giving. Finally being given to you because you deserve it. So let's go ahead and get two more cards here for you, Pisces. I love this. So exciting. <laughs> All right. Here, I do see here with the two of wands. See, you got the world here. There's going to be so many opportunities. I love the two of wands because it talks about decisions, opportunities that you guys are going to be facing, but opportunities with what you desire here with the star card. What you want, what you desire is going to be at your fingertips. But I think it's all about your thinking. Okay, it's talking about balancing out. You know, sometimes, sometimes we're, um, you know, we may think a little bit more negative. We need to think more positive. Maybe not think about the past either. Okay, there's so much expansion that I feel that's going to be coming from you too. A lot of good things that are going to be happening. Um, you could be expanding family, literally, when it comes down to pregnancy. It could be about home, money. So you got a lot of good things coming towards you. I just feel like it's just based off of what you feel internally and just balance, balancing out your thinking. But so many good things are going to be happening for you here, Pisces. And everyone's going to see it. Okay? <laughs> You're going to be the star. Okay? Let's go ahead and get another pile here. Oh, we got it again. We have two stars, Pisces. Oh, we're talking about a wish, a desire coming true. But imagine, isn't that interesting? Some of you guys are keeping back, standing on guard because you don't want anyone to come in and mess this up. I want to get another card. Because this let me, this, this definitely let me know that this change you're about to experience is, is something that you desire, something that you want to happen. It could be with love and money. It could be with just one. It could be with both. But it's definitely something here waiting for you. Here with the Page of Swords, I do see that there's going to be communication. You got a lot of communication cards here, a lot of page cards. Someone's watching you, maybe on social media, things of that nature. Someone, someone is very much observant of you. You may not know it, but there is a lot of um, a lot of thinking, a lot of communication that I see. And you're going to be very victorious in your energy, and I love it. I love it. Whatever it is that you're wanting, you're going to get because that sword is very vic victorious type of energy. With those two star cards, absolutely, Pisces. So we're going to go ahead and cut this last deck, and we're going to get your romance angel cards here. And we're going to get three. Now, before I begin, I want you guys to see that spirit took this energy here and literally maneuvered nothing but victory energy in this reading. See, it knew what you wanted. Remember, we were talking about reciprocity and giving, and it was giving clarity and victory. The will of fortune, meaning good things happening for you. Both cards are good, sitting right in the middle, sitting in square in the center of the will of fortune. You always pay attention to the surrounding cards. Good things will happen. Star card, wish fulfillment here, wish fulfillment there. Communication, gain, gathering information, learning new, new uh, maybe it's something that you're trying to learn, hobbies, things of that nature that you're going to be good at and that you're going to be very successful um, uh, over or very successful with. So you have a very positive, good, positive energy here. I just wanted to clarify that. 
Now let's go over here. Here I see, let your friends help you, finances, career, and religious factors. I, I kind of feel like here, there's a lot of obstacles that's, that's standing in the way um, with love right now. This could be because you either work a lot, they work a lot. They're mo mostly focused on their career. I feel like someone's idea of how um, a relationship should be could be causing some type of connection here. Maybe someone doesn't believe in soulmates. Maybe someone doesn't believe in a monogamous relationship. That is definitely could be a reason why this is here. And again, I always think finances, I mean, and career could be because someone works a lot. But also, too, a lot of people um, are, I mean, at a point where they are they don't have the money that they want to. So they're kind of pushing back on relationships. And this is basically saying, you know, just stay close to your friends and family. I want to pull one more card for you. I just feel like the desire to do it. And this is saying it's going to be worth waiting for. You will get your desire and your want here, Pisces. And I love it because, again, we're talking about a victorious energy, but be prepared for that change that you're going to experience. You had two star cards, and that means your wish and your desire that was repeated here. And it's all individual based. Okay, so Pisces, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Like I said, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys back here again tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. All right. Love you. Bye.